Hello everyone on YouTube, this is Glenn Morano, Gamertag SC Space Shadow TSI on Xbox, and this is another episode of In Case You Missed It Video Game News. If you like my content and want to be notified when we drop any of our new videos, which we drop pretty frequently on this channel, you could hit that subscribe and that notification bell. I also stream on Facebook Gaming every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 10 a.m. to 12 noon. You can find me there just under my gamer tag, SC Shadow TSI. Today we're going to be talking about not very much. It's a very light news week. Um, the update came out last week for Call of Duty Season 2. We're going to talk a little bit about Halo Infinite. And uh, Nintendo's got a new thing coming out that everybody seems to be interested in. And hopefully it, come, hopefully it works. Hopefully it comes out because I, li I like it. They're going nuts on Pokemon stuff right now. So. Uh, seem to be a, a bit of an anniversary for Pokemon, so they're going all things Pokemon right now. Um, for Pokemon fans, they're they're dropping a, a, a lot of stuff. Do a Google search if you like Pokemon. I don't. I don't like Pokemon. I'm not into it. But if you do like Pokemon, do a search. It's just so much Pokemon going on right now. All right, let's start off with the new season two update. Fans are not happy with the new update, including myself. There doesn't seem to be much added to the game. Um, there's the outbreak mode is in is in Cold War, which is, is in my opinion the graphics are not very good, so I didn't like it. I get, I'm going to give it another shot this week, uh, but we did play it a little bit. Uh, I wasn't really happy with it, so we get, you know there's that. Um, the people fans are not happy with the change to Rebirth Island. Adding 90 people is insane. It's so crazy. I have a TikTok clip that I'll show you if you, you got to check out my TikTok channel. I have lots of assassinations on there, but it's an insane. I'm going to show it right here. I don't know if I could get it here. Maybe I could. I don't know. But it's crazy the amount of people that's on Rebirth. It's just too much. It's just too much for that little island. Uh, people are not happy with that. They're not happy with the new addition on Verdansk. Uh, basically, a ship wrecked on the shore. There's a zombie event there. Um, but so many people go there, you'll never get a chance. And even if you do start working on the event, you have people coming in behind you, killing you before you get a f chance to finish it or loot out the, you know, the, the crate that comes for the reward. So it's, I, I don't know. I just don't think it's any good. I just don't agree with any of it. I don't know. Anyway, I feel like I lost. This is what I usually tell people. I feel like I lost some of Warzone. In season two, I feel like some of it's taken away. I guess maybe because I lost my rebirth with the 45 people, which for me I feel like is the perfect amount. Uh, so there's that. Anyway, on to uh, Halo, Halo Infinite. I said I was going to talk a little bit about that. They released some pictures, which I'm showing right here. Um, pretty cool stuff. Uh, I really, I mean, the details are much better. Than before, like I said, I think they were trying to go intentionally go through a, a sort of old school graphics thing, and I think now they're kind of realizing that they need to update that, and they, which they did. Um, so it looks pretty good right here, and I think they're going to continue to work on updating the graphics and make it more crisp, clear, and realistic. They should have been going for that in the beginning, but yeah, what are you going to do? For this uh, Nintendo, I told you Nintendo had some things in the works. These are rumors, nothing official. Nintendo never responds, announces, or anything when it comes to rumors like this. They don't, they don't, they just stay hush hush. Um, but when I was watching the Nintendo stream, I, I, I kind of put this together and I think this is what's going to happen. But there is a rumor that there's a Super Nintendo Switch being released uh, mid year this year, Christmas this year. And I think. I, we should I think we're gonna expect I expect sorry I expect that breath of the wild will also be released uh, as a launch title a uh, breath of the wild 2 sorry the sequel and that's why I think if you watch the Nintendo stream they didn't show anything from breath of the wild 2 he said he was working on it and he looked a little disappointed like he wanted to show it uh, some of the footage but he couldn't show it because of whatever and I think the reason why is because they didn't want to show because the, they, I think they're making it specifically for the Super Nintendo Switch. Now, the information on the Super Nintendo Switch is that it's going to play somewhere between the X, the uh, Xbox, uh, say the PS4 and the PS5. 
so it'll be slightly better than the PS4, but not as good as the PS5. Um, that's typical Nintendo stuff. They don't really focus so much on the power of the machine, rather that they focus on the actual gameplay itself, which they do a fine job of. And their characters and the things that they they play with or use. Super Mario, for example, it doesn't need to be super realistic anyway, so it's not a real big deal. And that's just the way Nintendo is, has, and always will be. But look for the Super Nintendo Switch uh, sometime this year, maybe? And uh, Breath of the Wild 2 will probably be releasing alongside of it. Now, I really don't... I, we're only five minutes into the broadcast, and I only talked about a few things, because that's kind of all that's out there right now. I think a lot of people are saving it up for E3, which I think is what, next month or something. So oh, we're not going to see too much video game news for the next couple weeks, but I will be digging for rumors and other kinds of things like that. So pay, pay attention and hit that hit that subscribe button. Now, notification bell too, because if you don't hit the notification bell, you're not going to know. I'd love to hear your comments below. Don't you know? Don't be shy. Comment. I love it. I'm, comments. And, you know, comments. You know, not only do I want to see what you think of the news broadcast and make the changes so that you like it a little better, something better for you to watch, but it also helps to, helps the algorithm for YouTube and getting my channel out there more popular. And I appreciate the support to him from from all the my current subscribers, all 89 of you. Thank you guys so much. You guys are super important to me. You have no idea. Um, again, check out my stream every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I talk about the latest news and answer any questions uh, anybody has on new new updates, rumors, etc. Feel free to tune into that. As always, thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day.